this is an episode talking about ores. We're gonna start with diamonds, cause I was, I mean, uh, diamonds are the rarest ore in the game besides ancient debris. Would you count ancient debris as an ore? I don't know. I do. Uh, it can create all kinds of amazing stuff, and it gives you an achievement called diamonds. Well, that's all diamonds are really used for, is to create better stuff. Armor is created like so. Actually, I have just enough to do everything. And that's all, every piece of armor. Now, another thing is you can create a shield like so. Now. That's it. That's all it is, is that's how you create a shield. <laughs> that's how you create a shield and coal. We'll just, now, mining down to white equals 11 is best, and, oops, it, white equals zero, sorry, is best. And I recommend being careful if you don't have torches. And a shield is best, now. Another thing you can use is this method, which I personally use, a bucket of water, some hope, some ladders, this is my personal favorite method, could become your personal favorite method as well. Some faith in the, some faith in ladders. That's what we gotta hope for, the faith in some ladders. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't put all of my faith into some ladders, especially if oh, we need wood. Uh, one of the unspoken rules that we are about to break and survive by breaking and get down to, uh, a lower level faster is the never dig straight down roll. First off, it's a completely stupid roll. I'm gonna show you why it's a completely stupid roll. First up, I'm gonna create some an iron axe. Just a bit better for me. And my sand. Uh now set this up and then type in lad here. And just shift click. Now the thing that we're breaking, also, I recommend going down there and seeing how many ladders you think you'll need. By the way, since we're digging straight down to y equals il zero, just take whatever your y is at, which just happens to be 33 for me, which means we're getting crap. We are at 21, which means we could reach y equals 11 which used to be an amazing place but is now absolutely horrible for a lot of things but the good thing is this is a really good thing uh ladders are cheap. ladders are really cheap also i crafted an iron axe because stone axes are slow now <laughs> also this is our new main weapon for now why not use a sword Swords in this version are absolutely horrible in easy mode. That's it. That's our main reason. Swords are just slow. Why not? Just use swords. Swords just take forever and it's just faster. What I'm doing is just faster for damage. You can one hit a cow. Now, I'm actually going to only use half of these. Because I want to use these to make some... Mis and the ladder... Three. It's 19. Then another one. Now, I'm going to create some chests. Three chests. I could use more. Uh, but, 
just using the recipe for chests allows you to save a bit of room. Next, we're going to talk about some self-defense, but really, we're just going to show you some basic mining tips, like how using most of your cobblestone for some cobblestone pickaxes. is definitely a good idea because well wouldn't it be a good idea it's more pickaxes and back to you now set this to be what's in your offhand okay what we're gonna do is mine down like this And actually, we have more than enough. If you want to know, that's more than enough. Actually, I just found some lapis. Get that lapis if you find it. But now, just dig down to y equals zero. Now, when it starts to get dark, make a hole and bam. Place it. And just continue down. Set it to be like this and. Just go AFK for a little bit. Just keep your eye on it, and bam. You'll be down there in no time. And just make sure that you light these up. And also, you want to choose a wall. I'm building up on the side that would make the most sense. The side that I'm placing the torches is the side that makes the most sense for me. As it will just bring me back up. That's why we bring multiple pickaxes, is because, well, you're going to use a lot of them. Just setting them back up requires basically no effort. Now, this will get you deep slate items, but will not be, like, overwhelmingly deep slate. You'll be just above where deep slate mainly spawns. You'll only find deep slate. You'll find some stone. I got really unlucky, though. You'll find some other stuff. You'll find stone. You'll find cobble. Stone, so no harm done. Next, just build up towards where you had placed it. I recommend just doing that. And bam! Now, we're safe. Now, I would not go into my inventory. Like that. But now we're at the why do we want to be at. Now why do we want to be at this specific why? It mines the fastest. Yep. That's it. Now, another thing that I would recommend doing. Is. Using your mine shaft. And creating a little tunnel. I'm making a two block wide tunnel. Mainly because. Well, I kind of have to. It's kind of what I got to do. You gotta do sometimes what you gotta do. I'm making a two block mine shaft. You might have to only make a one block mine shaft. If you didn't do what I did, which is a bit faster what I did, it saves you a bit of trouble of having to hope that there's not lava underneath you. Also, but it just takes a bit of effort and bam. Look at this effort. Look at how little effort this really is, though. It's just placing down a torch. And bam. Now we just make sure that we break it just like this. Oh! <laughs> And that's it. Now we're back. Now, Deep Slate now comes in veins in Java. Deep Slate comes in veins in Java. Uh, which does mean that once you start to find stone again, your Deep Slate vein will be ending soon. See? Deep Slate vein. I don't understand why, but just to, to strip mine like this. And make sure you put these on the ground, actually. Like, set. Reason? 
I don't know <laughs> why you wouldn't rather just put these on the ground and get more room for strip mining. You know, it's just better to have more room for strip mining. By the way, this could become a basic necessity that you barely have enough of. So just mine your veins of stone. Because this could become a basic necessity that you don't have any of. As it becomes rarer and rarer the lower you get to find some stone. So just mine up the stone. And just make sure you have some stone on you. I just think it's a necessity that some people don't have. As you can see, well, well, if we were higher, you would see that these are veins of deep slate. Now, by the time you reach to my layer, though, it becomes veins of stone, which may be, which may make your stone usage a bit rarer. Now, I have made a simple enough strip mine. This is just a simple enough strip mine area. Now. You can strip mine on both sides. Now, I'm going to go back up. Because that concludes the basics of mining. Really. The basics of mining is not that hard. So, a little sub-episode. I mean, I'm going to make a full episode on this. Because this is something really important. Uh, the basics of mining only takes 11 minutes for us to explain, it looks like. These episodes are like 15 minutes. Uh, let's make a little sub-episode on uh, self-defense and farming. This is going to be our little sub-episode um, for now. Just a little sub-episode for now will be nice. So, some basic defense that you should have is some walls. Now, I'm going to use deep slate walls for now because these look nice. Uh, they look nice, so that's why we're using them. Choose a block. I'm going to choose this block here, because I can easily mirror. Here. And here. Uh, so now just mirror this. So just mirror what you want to do. On both sides. Now, you might come into contact with some trees. Just chop them down. Just destroy them. Just destroy the trees. And that's a basic self-defense, really, for your Minecraft world. Is just... Some trees can help, but they can also spawn in mobs. Just break these leaves, by the way. Yeah, and now they'll actually disintegrate. Just break the leaves near working leaves, and they'll just start to disintegrate. And, uh, this is like a little sub-episode. Really, because it's just a basic wall. This will protect you, though. Just enough to really protect you forever is just a wall. Wall is just enough to protect you forever. You know, you don't need a big wall. Okay, now you're safe. This is basic safety. At least for Minecraft, this should be all you need for a while. Like, it is cheap and reliable and just placing some torches on the edges. And now mobs won't spawn in your base. And now you're safe forever. Not forever, but, you know, for a while you'll not have to worry about any mobs. 
And now, this is a good start. At least for most people, this is enough. The next thing you want to make sure you have is some seeds. Because this part of the sub episode is are the farming section. This is a little, this is two sub episodes actually. Uh, cause sub episodes are really short as well. You know what I mean? Super short. So, some defense later is gonna be like increasing the size of your wall to be like 15 blocks tall. Adding in more torches. So, really, this is just a little sample of what you're gonna do. Just break some grass, create a hoe. Okay, so a hoe requires two sticks and two cobblestone. That's all you're gonna need to start farming. It's really cheap. Now, I don't recommend just making a wooden hoe or, or an iron hoe. A stone hoe is just fine. Uh, it will till the land just as good as a diamond hoe. Uh, so, you know. Just break some grass. Okay, now once you've got around 11 to 12 seeds, just depends on you, I recommend just 11 to 12 seeds. I got 11 seeds because why not get less? And then just choose where you really want to put your seeds. Create a hoe, which will look like this. And it's super cheap, by the way. It's literally the cheapest. Get some water. Move this. Now, we're going to create an infinite water generator. And, really, this is super good. Oh! Well, 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 well. So, um, just some basic stuff is you just want to get two buckets of water, one bucket, put it somewhere. And then just move it, and that's all you have to do for an infinite water generator. And that's it. So, pretty easy, and that's it. Just grab it up, and move it. That's it. That's all you gotta do. That's all you have to do to do it. It's pretty easy, and... <coughs> wow. Sorry about that. <coughs> Photo log it is also fine. Now, over here, just move this here, and that's your infinite water generator. And here, we can just increase the size of that, and that's an infinite water generator that will last you for basically ever. Grab your hoe down, and where did I put my hoe? Uh, I put it in the chest, didn't I? Ah. Zip, 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 zip. Seeds. And you'll get the achievement a CD place. We're killing the land and getting the seeds put down. Now, grab your bucket and move it over here. Now you can create a little more. Now, since I don't have much room, it's There it is. Yeah, that's it. And bye!
Okay, that's it. Everybody, that's just some simple coding. Some sim not simple coding. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm tired. Just some simple farming, some simple self-defense, and the basics of mining. See you in the next one, everybody! Bye! Oh, by the way, like and subscribe or I'll eat your waffles. Disclaimer, I will not eat your waffles. Although waffles are delicious, I am not a thief. Enjoy your waffles, though.